Game sharing is an amazing feature, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about game sharing on the Xbox. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you for being here. And in today's video, make sure that you stick around to the end of the video for our bonus tips on why game sharing is a must have benefit that you should be using. All right, and so jumping right into the different ways that you can share games on the Xbox. Now, the first way you can do it is if you have the physical disc, you can simply just take that disc, put it in the different Xboxes and just install it on those consoles. And then whenever you wanna play it, you put that disc into the console and you can share it. The downside to that though is you can't both be on it or have two players on the same game at the same time, unless you obviously have two discs, but then in that case, you're not sharing it. Now, the other two ways are if you have digital copies of the game. So if you have a digital copy, you can also just simply log into another console, uh, find the game in your library, download it to that console, and then play it while you're logged into your account. Now, the third way that you can share games on the Xbox is by using the game sharing, as we mentioned earlier, or sometimes known as family share feature. And you do this by setting up your home Xbox. And so now this is the method that we're really going to kind of hone in on in this video. Next, it is good to know what you can share with Xbox Game Share. So not only can you share the digital games that you've purchased using this feature, but you also can share your Xbox Live Gold. And furthermore, if you purchased your Xbox Game Pass or an Xbox Ultimate, all of the features that you get from those passes will also be transferable over to the other console in which you're sharing with. Okay, and so next we need to move on and talk about how to set these features up. So first, what you want to do is set the Xbox Home feature on the console that you want to share with. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox behind me and I'll show you how to make that happen. All right, so as you can see, we are on the Xbox now. So if you're on the console that you want to share with, you would log into your account and then you would go down to settings. You would click on general and then go over to personalization and then just go down to my home Xbox. And if you haven't done so yet, then you would just click on this, make this my home Xbox. Okay, and so now that home Xbox is set up, the account that purchased the games no longer need to be logged in on the console that is now set up as the home Xbox. And as long as that account is set as the home Xbox on that secondary console, they should have access to all of the games and Xbox Live from the main person. So what I mean by that is in the example of my son and I, I have set up my account on his console as the home Xbox. So in order for him to be able to play the games that I want to share with him, I no longer have to be signed into his Xbox. He can simply log into his own account, go to his library, find the games that he wants, and then download those games, and then he can start playing those immediately. And one other thing that I did test based on a question that I got in the past was if you remove your account from the other home console, um, do they still have access to that game? And based on my test, they do still have access. So kind of going back to that example, my sons, when I logged out of his account and I actually re completely removed my gamer tag off of his console, uh, he still had access to the games and the Xbox Live that I was originally sharing. And then when I logged back into my account, AKA I signed back into my account on his console, uh, those games were still there. And I went down to the My Home Xbox setting and it did show still that I have the option to remove my home Xbox from this console. So that meant even though I removed my gamer tag, I did not actually remove my access as the home Xbox on that console. Also, a couple other things to keep in mind about the games that you're sharing. If you decide to switch my home Xboxes, like I mentioned ago in the example, uh, you only get five times a year in order to do that. So if you change too often, then eventually you'll get a message from Microsoft letting you know that you only have one more time to change your my home Xbox. So at that point, you really wanna make sure that you're done making those changes. Now, getting back to the games that you are sharing, if you don't know where to find those games, you'll simply go into your games and apps, go all the way down to your game library, and then you'll go into all games. Now in all games, you should see a little uh, arrow at the bottom right hand side of the picture of the game that you want to download. If that arrow is not there, it means it's already on your console 
if it is there, that means you need to download those particular games to your console if that's one that you want to play. If you have properly set up the My Home Xbox settings, then you don't need to be logged into both uh, gamer tags on the same console in order to make that work. So what I mean is if you wanted to play your game and your friend wants to play the game and you want to both play at the exact same time, you simply log into your own gamer tags on your own console and you both will have access to play those games at the same time. Oh, hey, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you. Let's say for some reason you need to remove the My Home Xbox feature and you no longer want to game share with somebody on that console. Uh, for instance, you went over to a friend's house, you're sharing with him, and now you need to come back and put it on your son's account again. If you have access to that original console, the steps are actually pretty easy. You would just go back to the same spot where you set the My Home Xbox feature. You'll click on that button. The next page that comes up is going to give you the option to then remove this as My Home Xbox. Now, what if you don't have access to that Xbox? You know, it's not really a great situation. You know, you got into kind of a spat with somebody and you just don't really trust them to handle that access properly anymore and you just want to get rid of it. So what you may want to do is just go online and change your gamertag password, so your login password, so whenever they go back onto their console, they can't try to sign into your account anymore because the password has been changed. So you've removed it um, by adding the My Home Xbox on your own console, but you've also removed the access of even being able to log in to your gamer tag on the console to even share games that they may have downloaded in the past based on your gamer tag. All right guys, so that kind of rounds up all of that and now it is time for those bonus tips on why you should be game sharing. And you know, the really the biggest reason that you should game share is the fact that honestly, if you're like me, you love saving money and this is a great way to do it. And so you might be asking, uh, you know, Wayne, what, what do you mean I can save money? Well, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, one of the things that you are doing is not only are you sharing games, but you're also sharing your Xbox Live or your Game Pass and even better, if you have the game Pass Ultimate, um, you're sharing all of those things. So for instance, as I keep mentioning, if I want to share a game with my son, I simply only have to buy one game. So that's one $60 game or whatever it is when you buy it. It's one game at that time, and then I'm sharing it with another person. So I'm not spending $120 to play the same games with my son and have a great time with him. I'm only spending $60. Um, and as well, I'm also sharing my Xbox Live access. So instead of, again, spending $120, which, you know, over the course of year, not a huge problem, but it does save me $60 a year uh, as well there uh, in order for my son to play online games with me. Also, with game sharing, uh, another great feature of it is that you both get to be online at the same time. And what that means is you get to be on your own gamer tag on your own console playing at the same time as your kids or as your friends are. So you get to level up your own gamer tag, you get your own achievements, and you can level up your character all on your own in your, the game that you're wanting to play together. Now, if you're still not sure that, you know, you really want to take full advantage of the Xbox Game Share because, you know, you're having a debate with yourself whether you should go with physical versus digital games, then make sure you check out this series right here where I really kind of discuss and go over those details about, you know, the pros and cons of having digital versus physical games. Now, folks, this ends my series covering Xbox Game Share, but, but I will see you in the next one.